hey it's Autumn Blossom and welcome back to the channel. Camp NaNoWriMo is finished and when this video goes up hopefully it literally should have just finished. Um, it has been a weird and very unique journey I'd say for anyone who has taken part in it in the world this year. Um, so did I manage it? That's the question. I'm going to hand you off to past Holly in a minute because she started the vlog but I did a boo-boo and didn't keep up with vlogging throughout the month so I will have to sit here and talk about it but yeah I'll pass you on to her for a bit. It is the 2nd of April so day two of Camp NaNoWriMo. Um, I've already done day one and the video is up on the channel already so if you want to go see that I'll try and leave a link somewhere. Not too sure how to do that. Mm. <laughs> it's day nine of being isolated and I am happy to finally say that I can do this and do my editing. I've been wanting to do it since day one, but I held off for this month. If you haven't noticed, I dyed my hair too, out of boredom. So yeah, I'm basically just starting off where I finished yesterday and getting on with it. I was filled with so much confidence. <laughs> so it went well for the first couple of days. I did, I forgot, I kept a little diary of what I actually did. So for the first 11 days, I wrote or every day. I never set myself a strict word count because of us not having anything else to do. I felt that I could I just go with roll with punches in a sense. Um, and then day 12 hit and I didn't want to do it anymore. I was bored, I was getting irritated. By then we'd probably been in isolation for three weeks and it started to feel like a chore. Something they had to do rather than wanted to do. So I rearranged the furniture. Yeah, it just became a chore. And I think that this is my issue with Camp NaNoWriMo is that because it was a I set myself a goal and ultimately I had to do it and if I didn't do it I'd keep myself. I have a tendency that if it if it directly affects me and it's only me it affects I'll self-sabotage. If I had to edit this work for someone else I probably would have got it done within four days but because it was my own goal and something for me alone I procrastinated I don't want to do it anymore I found other things to occupy my time and basically it made me realize that I am my own worst enemy as we all know we have been put into a, a very unique situation where we are not allowed outside and that meant that I had to entertain myself in other ways. I couldn't, didn't have work. I wasn't allowed to go outside even though the weather's been beautiful. I had literally nothing else to do and that irritated me a bit. So I found something else to do. I got bored. So to try and spice it up, I did the video that's on my vlog, on my vlog on my channel at the minute, the I edit like Stephen King um, and I made a massive dent in that and I felt great and I was like yep this is gonna be brilliant, I'm, I've, I've got it down and then I filmed that on the 14th and I didn't touch the novel again until the 20th 
because I decided that I wanted to read instead. And I basically did nothing else. I think it was this dire need to escape because I'm not allowed out, I'm not speaking to anyone. I just, I needed something. So I basically had a break, which was fine. I felt I could do it, the word count was reasonably okay. All would be fine. Until I stopped reading and then the issue started. I'll let past Holly explain. So for the past couple of days I've been um, kind of neglecting my writing and my editing and I have just been reading. Um, I managed to get through three books in the last like couple of days and the issue is now is that as one there's two issues one I don't want to edit I just want to read and two I'm not happy with my edit I want to add so much more to the novel and I don't know whether or not I can <laughs> in the sense of I want to thicken out the religion, the add plot in that I haven't even put in yet. It's all, I'm basically doubting myself a little bit. Because I've read it, the things I'm reading are fantasy. I finished Crescent City, um, Queen of Nothing, and Unbound, which is part of a series that I read when I was younger, but I never finished, so I'm rereading to finish. Um, all of them are fantasy, all of them are aimed at different age groups, Crescent City being, meant, I think it's one of Sarah J Mass's first adult novels. Um, I'd say The Queen of Nothing's for younger YA and Bound is like in between, so not, yeah, so lots of different versions of fantasy and it makes me What I love about the books makes me want to put it into my own and I can't. <laughs> so we'll see. Bits and pieces that I do want to maybe thicken out a bit I might be able to do later on but I'm having to like completely cut myself off and do this work because it's getting near the end of the month and I haven't done a whole lot. I need to get it finished, otherwise I will kick myself. So, just an update. <sighs> so yeah, and since, since that recording, I also read an extra three more books. So in total, between then and the 23rd, I read like six, seven books um, and yeah, it, it gave me the inspiration to write but also created a whole lot of doubt in my mind. Um, but nevertheless, I carried on writing. I basically had to lock myself away and just focus on the writing and got my boyfriend to force me to do it because I knew that if I didn't finish it by the end of the month I would be so disappointed in myself and it worked. On the 26th I hit my word count and then some. I gave myself a word count of 75,000 words and I went to 80 so I don't know whether or not that's good or bad, but I'm happy with it for now. Yes, I still have the doubts and yes, I still want to add to it. And I know it's nowhere near finished because there is so much more to this book I can give. But a little part of me thinks that if I, I will always think this 
and at some point I've just got to bite the bullet and send it out there. So as I'm filming this I'm getting my boyfriend to read through it as he also has nothing better to do and I'm asking him, I'm waiting for him to finish it to see whether or not he picks upon the same issues I do, the same potential plot holes that I do and we'll go from there I think but it was an amazing and oddly it was a, it was a unique experience and I think anyone who has taken part in this will agree that this whole Camp Manorimo has been a big unique experience I was expecting to struggle because I was at work or that I was going out and instead I struggled because it was the only thing I could do rather than something that I wanted to do. Not saying that I didn't want to do it, it makes it sound like such a negative thing. I did want to do it, I just wanted to do other things more, it seemed. But yeah, I will link all of the videos that I've created during Camp NaNoWriMo, involving Camp NaNoWriMo, up above. Um, and we'll see where we go from there. I have some ideas of what I should do next, but we'll see. I hope everyone is safe and well and have enjoyed Camp NaNoWriMo if you did take part please let me know how it went down below that would be brilliant to see how other people did um, and that's basically it thanks for watching um, don't forget to like and subscribe I'll see you in the next one bye